Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So last night I was going to bed and I set an alarm for like 8.30 a.m. so that I could get up, get ourselves together, um, put Mia together and we were gonna go outside at 9 a.m. I think because I woke up this morning at like 6.30 and I was giving her her first bottle, I slept out the alarm like I was a little bit tired. Right now it's 9.30, I'm scrambling, running all around the place to kind of get us together. Have her lean down feeding her because she woke up screaming, hungry. And I definitely have to put some breast pads in because I didn't feed her from the booby. And while right now I'm fine, I'm gonna be out there for a little bit. I'm gonna be out there for at least um, three hours. I took my nails off yesterday, so thankfully I don't have to soak anything off. I'm just putting a first set on and I should be fine but I definitely have to use the breast pads because I don't want to be leaking all over the place and I don't know that I want to take her out and feed her instead of the nail salon maybe when I go in a different store fine because I am planning to go into a different store but I think we're gonna hit the nail salon first because right now that she's eating as soon as I go out there she's gonna be um she's gonna be sleeping so I want to do that then while she is sleeping so we can hurry up and leave and then do the other things that I have to do. We might even go to, we really don't need anything there, but we might even go, honestly, just to go. So I'm trying to get everything together right now. This, I'm partially ready. I should have been up <laughs> eating some breakfast. What's the matter, honey? <laughs> eating some breakfast, oh, she's drinking. I should have gotten up, eaten some breakfast, got her dressed, got me dressed. I mean, all the things. But so far I'm just so that's good. That's the one thing about me. If I'm ever in a crunch, I can get ready now. I can be ready in five seconds. If the room is not straightened, then I really hate leaving my bedroom on straightened. Bothers me. I'm not gonna get a pedicure today. I feel like I'm gonna have to go back for a pedicure a different day because a pedicure and a manicure together is gonna take too long. Unless, unless of course, I do my nails first go to store and she wakes up feeds her. I just don't want to have her instead of the nail salon for too long. I'm always trying to save her a lot of outfits for this and that, but I think we're going to put this... I think we're going to put this preemie outfit on her one last time because it might not fit her after this. But growing up with Caribbean parents, you're always told to not wear your good outfits here and there. You have stuff that you wear out and stuff that you wear at home. A whole tobacco. But, um... I'm gonna just put things on her because if not, she's gonna grow them out, especially the creamy stuff that I have that she's already growing out. So she's drinking. I want to, I'm gonna change her diaper while she does that because I'm just trying to get the ball rolling here so we can get out of this apartment. The bag is already packed. The only thing I might need to put in there is some formula if I'm gonna give her that. Yeah, I'll give her some formula. We'll do this, this thing when we're done. Okay, while she's eating, I'll do that. You guys, I'm gonna come back when we're all ready. So we are on our way, we're outside. I just called the nail salon to get the person that I want. So, I just called the nail salon to get the person that I want and now we are on our way. So, let's see, I have to stop by the bank to get money because the ATM in there be charging you. We're getting a little massage from doing her nails. <laughs> Absolutely love them. Mia's godmother is here and, and she's holding her. So guys, we're basically done. I went and did my nails. They look so cute. I ended up getting a pedicure because when we went to the nail salon, her godmother was there whole time she texted me and I didn't see that she had texted me before so she was there and she ended up holding her um while I got the pedicure and we're sitting and talking and then um yeah so I ended up going to Raymore and Flanagan and I ended up um getting a couch because as you guys know I've been saying I wanted to get rid of the one that I have and get something new a nice little sectional that's going to be there for a long long time and I got like five year protection on it and I didn't even have to pay anything down I'm going to pay like a hundred and sixty dollars per month 160 170 per month so um 
that's great and i'm not gonna have to make the first payment until next month so there's that they're delivering that on monday i'm i got a modular um sofa so i'm hoping it could fit through the door i think it could based on what i'm looking at i think it could um so let's hope and pray so when i go home i'm gonna ask my neighbor if he wants the little couch that i have in there and if he doesn't want it i'm gonna have to take it apart to basically um put it outside so there's that just like i did the other one if he doesn't want it but i really hope that he wants it because um jules was saying that i could post it on facebook marketplace and tell somebody that they have to come pick it up between now and monday but i'm not taking no chance of keeping it there and nobody comes to come pick it up like but i'll see i really hope that he wants the couch so i could give it to him because i would love to be able to give it to him too and you know that be it so we'll have to see about that by now and um monday we'll give it to him maybe we'll do it over the weekend you know give him the time to make some space to put it um so there's that but i feel like he would enjoy that nice little um couch you know and i would love to give it to him instead of like throwing it away and wasting my money and this this section all i took up a video of it it comes with like um its own pillows and everything the pillows are nice and big and i got five year protection on it that means if mia spits up on it if she poops on it anything that um gets on it the lady said don't even try and clean it just call us and we'll schedule for them to come out and clean it for you and that is what you're paying the five-year protection for so that's good but i finally feel like the space is coming together and it's a nice gray that i really really like and that was the only modular one they had in there if they didn't have one obviously i could have just ordered it but um i'm very happy that i got it however it was left arm facing and the man told me that i should be able to just put it on the other side because when I go in the apartment, I'm going to have to show you guys. I like to put my Christmas tree where I had my Christmas tree last year, which I could probably pop a video off to show you guys. Um, so because I like to put my Christmas tree there, I want the, the arms to face the other side. Plus, I have the closet there um, that I cleaned out yesterday that I want to be able to open. So I would want it to have um, the arm on the other side. But we'll see. But I, but I love the section all. It's nice and big. It's probably going to be really big in the space, but also it's a really good sectional i'm buying it one time i'm not gonna have to pay all this money to replace it because i was gonna just buy something on amazon but i found that in store it's nice and deep it's really really nice it's gonna serve me years because i'm not buying another couch honestly so after the five years i'm gonna start washing the, the cushion covers myself because i made sure too that the covers could come off so you'd be able to wash them yourself and you know when i move i'm gonna be in a bigger space where it's gonna be able to hold in so i'm not really worried so very happy about that so i can't wait for monday monday for them to deliver it and what perfect time to um get it now that i'm on vacation and you know me and i could enjoy it for a little bit while we're home just the layout so i need to get a really nice throw blanket because because of the color of it you're gonna need some throw blankets because you can't just sit on that i have a gray one that i'm gonna use and um i'm gonna get um another i have a gray and i have a yellow and i have that red one that i had used in the christmas time but i don't need anything that's gonna bleed on there so we're gonna get something nice to put on there the next thing that i'll have to do is a coffee table but also um the coffee table i need to find a really nice one so we're gonna wait until the couch comes and everything to see how the coffee table looks in the space and to see what we could do differently but last night i cleaned out the tv stand so because i cleaned the tv stand out i'll be able to put my little candles and everything inside of the tv stand for now if i want to throw out that coffee table which i am going to do because it's going to be too big for the couch but also i really don't like it anymore because the top already broke the piece that you're supposed to use to lift it up which i really enjoyed in the beginning that already broke it's just i wish i had bought something that already came put together because the piece that broke is because i didn't really know how to fit it up properly why it broke so yeah 